Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the background color of your workspace here. This is actually really easy, but it's a little bit more challenging than you would expect it to be here. So let's hop into Illustrator here and you can go into Illustrator Preferences. And um, if you look at this here, this is not on the PC version. I believe this is in the edit menu, but you want to go to user interface here. And from this user interface, you can select which one is this here. And what, and what you want to do is you can actually make it white and you can change the interface to whatever you want here, or you can just match the interface. It's very, very, very easy to do here. Now, the, you can change it to whatever you want here, and I think this also uh, looks really good here. So personally, I like the dark one here. Now, one thing to note is one time um, I actually made, uh, and I don't even know how I did this here, but I made this artboard, and somehow the artboard got scaled up, and I'm just gonna do this here to kind of show you here. The artboard was scaled up to almost the entire project here. Okay, <laughs> so I guess you can't do that here. But nevertheless, uh, what happened was is that it, it looked like this and I had no idea what was going on here until I zoomed out here. So if all of this doesn't work, chances are you, you could have made an artboard that was a little bit too, uh, too big here. The guy did definitely happen to me here, right? And so as you can see, uh, this is exactly what I'm I'm looking to do here. And again, you'll notice that when I'm in the artboard section, it does change color here. So uh, that's up to you what you wanna do here. Now, for example, this particular project here, the reason why you would wanna change this is that like, let's say, you know, the user interface, let's say you're working with a dark project here, right? So if you're working with a dark project, you might want to do something a little bit lighter here. And this happens to me all the time if I'm working on something, you know, that's all white or all black here. And by the way, I don't believe that this here uh, is is uh, completely black. I believe it's an off black here. Yeah, it's not quite black here. But nevertheless, if you want to change it, that's how you do it. It's preferences, again, user interface, change it, make sure the match style per user is there here, all right? So that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.